Hi, this is Miss Sarah at the library. Do you like my new necklace? I made it myself, and I didn't just make the necklace. I made the beads too, and that's what today's craft is all about. This craft is not one for the really little kids. It's one for mm, it's kind of kids who are school-aged. So little, really little ones could do parts of it, but they would definitely need some help. Here's what the beads look like a little bit closer up. And when you look closely here, you can see they're actually made of paper, pieces of paper rolled up. And I'll show you how we make them. These are all the materials you would need for this craft. Something to write with. You need a magazine that you can cut up. And something with nice bright pictures like this would be really good. You need a ruler and a glue stick and something to ramp around. I've got a bamboo skewer. You could use a pencil or a toothpick or really anything that's round. What I have here is a page from a magazine and it's got pictures on both sides so I could make beads that look two different ways. And I've got a ruler and my first step is going to be to use the ruler to make marks every inch along the side of this paper. Once I finish that side, I'm going to mark the other side, but I'm going to start here at a half inch and then still make marks on the inch marks. That means that the I'll have marks every inch, but they'll be a half inch off from the ones on the other side of the paper. Now I'm going to draw lines from this corner to my first mark, and then to this mark, then to this mark, this mark. So I'm making long triangles. And it doesn't matter if they're not absolutely perfect. You notice that I'm drawing my lines with my paper and my ruler on top of another piece of paper. That's so if I go over the ends, I'm not drawing on the table because they don't like me to draw on the table here at the library. One other hint about drawing the triangles. If one side of your page has writing on it so it's white, it's easier to see your lines after you drew them. Because after you draw them, the next step is going to be to cut along those lines to make your really long skinny triangles. This piece isn't a triangle and I'll throw that away. I've got all my triangles cut now and my next step is making my beads. Because I have pictures on both sides, I actually have a choice with each one. Which bead do I want to make? a mostly blue picture or a mostly green one. And you can do this with any kind of picture. My favorite beads I made before were a bunch of butterflies. So the way you make the beads is you're going to wrap your picture around something. Now I have a bamboo skewer here, but you could use a toothpick and you would make a bead with a smaller hole in it. You could wrap it around a pencil, which would be easier for younger fingers. And if you wrapped it around a pencil, you would have a wider bead. Anything will work. I'm going to wrap it around this bamboo skewer because that's what I happen to choose. And I'm just going to wrap it around and around and around and around and around. And when I get about here, I'm going to hold it down and it would be smart to take the lid off of your glue stick before you finish wrapping and maybe turn the glue out so you don't have to do it all one-handed like I am and then put glue on my on my paper and finish twisting it around close it right up and then slide it off of my skewer there's a bead I'll do another one this one I'll do with the green side.
Now you would think beads made out of paper wouldn't be very strong, but because they're such a long skinny triangle, they actually end up being pretty strong. And if your pictures have more colors, it makes a more interesting bead. So like this one, I think, will be a little more interesting looking. So that's a pretty nice looking bead. Now, you can get all fancy with these and coat them with like clear fingernail polish or something, but you really don't need to. They're pretty sturdy and last pretty well just the way they are. So you can make a nice necklace or bracelet for yourself or for a friend or for your parents. I got the idea from, for this craft from this book, Paper Crafts, which is in the nonfiction section. And you can see that in the book they show people using magazines like fashion magazines and making all kinds of different beads so you can use whatever kind of picture you want and this is also the book that I used for some advice when I was making my pinata if you watched my pinata making video anyway it's a good book and it's a fun craft and I hope you give it a try